Okay, we might as well just get this over with and answer the first question that many of you are going to be asking. Why are you doing the 5x7 version first? Why not do an 8x10 version and offer 5x7 film holders as an option? Well, the same three reasons that have been affecting projects for millennia. Time, money, performance. Uh, first, with regard to time. There are technical issues that we still need to resolve. Um, bear in mind that the 8x10 tank is going to be 400 percent larger than the 4x5 tank. Uh, the 5x7 is only 75 percent larger. Now we even built an 8x10 film holder and frankly it was a disaster. It was way too difficult to load and that design needs to be rethought and re-engineered. Plus the tank for an 8x10 version is going to require at least easily require two liters of solution and the size of the lid is raising questions regarding um, how well it will seal. Resolving these is taking longer than we expected. And then there's the money. Uh, both the tooling and the production cost of the 8x10 version will be significantly higher than its little brother. Let me try to put this in perspective without getting bogged down in too many details. The mold for the SP445 tank, this is a block of steel, it weighs about 485 pounds. Uh, we're estimating that the mold for the 4810 tank um, would weigh somewhere north of 2,700 pounds, nearly a ton and a half. When you scale up that much, things just get complicated. But the main factor is the effect on performance, what I call the cost of compromise. You'll find that products that are designed to do everything do none of it very well. And we didn't want to burden the 5x7 users with this extra overhead and the extra delays. After all, our goal is to make film fun, and we want to provide elegant, simple solutions to analog photographers. So with all that in mind, uh, we decided to launch the SP457 while we work out the details for an 8x10 version. We hope you'll greet the SP457 with the same enthusiasm that the 4x5 version received last year. Uh, again, sign up for our newsletters at shop.steermanpress.com, and you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook.